and welcome to a session here on partnerships I wanted to go over the overview of chapter 14 right before lecture and this should be an introduction to the concept and it can be found in the book in chapter 14 partnerships in terms of formation operation advantages from a legal perspective from a business perspective and also the accounting and operation of the books and records of a partnership. So as we're looking into a part, what is a partnership as opposed to usually we look at partnership as opposed to a corporation. So in terms of legal structure, a partnership is an entity that primarily is different from a tax perspective. Because partnerships, what is called, are flow-through entities. And what does it mean to be a flow-through entity from a tax reporting perspective? It means that you don't, as a partnership, you don't report income at the partnership level. You report income at the partnership level, and then you make, and then you distribute all that income to the partners of the partnership. So this, this sort of structure I think uh, creates a certain partnership culture in terms of business, legal, and accounting that that is really stems from a tax advantage. And to really feel this tax advantage, you can see on chapter 14 in the book on page 630 on the bottom left, there is an illustration of how much income a partnership keeps versus a corporation keeps. And the idea is that using here this 30% tax rate, you're seeing that a partnership will keep $70 for every $100 earned, and a corporation keeps $59.50 for every $100 that's earned. So a partnership is keeping here, let's see, $10 on $60, so about 18% more income. So the idea with partnerships is that you can essentially if you know how to manage your business as a partnership, if you're comfortable with some of the liability aspects that we're going to go over on, then a partnership can generate essentially 18% more income for its partners than a corporation can for its shareholders. So that's quite powerful. And, you know, the, so the advantage of the partnership is coming from the fact that you have a tax advantage. That's, that's quite substantial. The disadvantage of a partnership comes from the legal perspective. And this is more on the law side where a partnership doesn't have a separation from a legal liability standpoint between the entity itself and the partners of the business. For example, if there is a lawsuit against a partnership, that lawsuit in terms of the claims in dollar terms or, or whether it's civil or, or criminal, um, some kind of judgment or claim, when that claim comes through to the entity, it essentially flows through to the partners of the entity. And the partners of the entity become claimants in this lawsuit. And this can involve uh, dollars or, or criminal liability. And essentially, their personal assets become at stake regarding this claim. Now, so this creates a, a more liability for the partners themselves. Because imagine in a big business, something that the company is doing that you don't even know about as a partner now becomes your business because something that the company did somewhere is now incurring a lawsuit that is coming through to you as the partner and and you have to think about whether um, it's worth it to be a partner in a business that would incur this kind of liability that you would have to be responsible for in terms of your personal assets. Now, in the corporate structure, there's such a thing called the corporate veil where the corporation it's in itself is the entity. In terms of like Coca-Cola, for example, if you're going to go sue Coca-Cola for improper containers or something, improper bottles, the executives of Coca-Cola are not going to be personally liable unless there's a, a criminal 
and uh, malicious intent for them to do something specific. If it's the company that sort of had this container, that a bottle that was improper, you can go only as far as to sue the company, not its executives or its shareholders. In fact, as a shareholder, you actually cannot even be sued at all because you are protected by the structure, the corporation. So it, in terms of being an owner in a partnership in a corporation, the idea is that in the corporation, you can get ownership, the benefits of ownership, without the, the increased liability of, of being claimant in lawsuits. But as opposed to as a partnership, you can get exposure to ownership, but you also have to incur the liability that comes with that ownership because there's no separation between you being a partner and, and some kind of protection from a lawsuit. So uh, essentially the advantages come from increased dollars earned post-tax and the disadvantages come from a significant increase in legal liability. Another thing that I wanted to go over with you in this intro to partnerships is the capital accounts in terms of partnerships. And what does it mean to keep books and records in a partnership? It really means that we are looking into allocating each piece of income or each piece of expense to each and single partner that is in the business. And how do we do it by? We do it based on their percentage ownership of the partnership. So each partner owns the proportionate net assets of the partnership according to what they bought into. And each piece of profit and loss that comes in gets allocated to each partner based on their percentage of ownership. And at the end of each year, you come up with total partner equity for each partner capital account. So it, it's a different method of accounting than you would ordinarily see in a corporation. Um, and, and you're essentially keeping equity for every single individual.